and girls, welcome. Papa Missouri here. We're going to go on a little pop hunt today. We're going to go to a couple stores, see what we can find. Our area, we have Walmart and GameStop. Maybe even try out, check out Walgreens. Sometimes they have them, sometimes they don't. So at the end of the video, we'll show you what we got. Also, don't forget, you guys, you can bring Milky to America, the milkman. Check out this little video we made and uh, get a hold of us if you need stickers. Thanks. Stay tuned. We'll see what we get. So here we are, Walmart. It's gonna have basically the same stuff. It looks like that they've had for weeks. Still got a Bray Wyatt, uh, Sidney Crosby. That's a newer Pittsburgh Penguins pop. Here is our famous smashed up, washed Captain Boomerang. He is still here. There's even that's even worse. Lots of wrestlers. An army soldier, female army soldier. A uh, podcast from the new Ghostbusters. There is an even worse Captain Boomerang. Can't believe they actually have these things on the shelf. It's ridiculous. Uh, Matthias, Frozen 2. We got Larry Bird. Five of them. Spider Man and Michael Myers. 10 inch. Pretty cool, guys. Pretty cool. We got some Funko Gold, the 12 inches, and then they are starting to stock handmade by robots. They got Batman, they got the Joker, Morticia Adams, uh, there's a Harley Quinn back there. Pretty cool. Cool. Here's the small Funko Gold that they have here. They got a lot of pop pins. Mumra, Panthro, Chitra. All kinds of stuff, guys. They're actually pretty stocked right now. They got a Gomez Adams as well. Yeah, lots of jokers. You can get the glasses from Christmas Vacation. Skeletor on Night Stalker. Selena Kyle on Motorcycle from the new Batman movie. Anybody seen the Batman movie? Let me know. Fig pins. Of course, they're all Demon Slayer or Dragon Ball GT. So that's basically what they have here, yeah, guys. As as you saw in that video, we went to Walmart. Uh, we went to GameStop. They wouldn't let us film, like I said, because they were having some training. But we did pick up some stuff there, and then we went to Walgreens, which, as you saw, complete bust. It usually is around here. If they have any pops at all, it's usually one, and it's some kind of wild damage something or other. So. Uh, at Walmart, we didn't pick up any Funko Pops. We picked up a container of Million Warriors. Um, so there's 10 little warriors in here in little packets. It was like $5.50 for this pet, this thing. So let's see what we got. And there's 72 different ones you can collect. I'll show you the back. That is all 72 that you can collect. So I may have just opened a huge rabbit hole. So they're in little packets. Sorry about that glare. There we go. Let me fix that. There we go. So they're in these little like paper packets. So let's just go ahead and we'll rip open a couple of them. See what we got. Like I said, they were five dollars and fifty cents, six bucks with with tax. So and they are literally, I mean, they are tiny, tiny, tiny little fellers there. Pretty cool, though. Amazing detail on them. Uh, apparently, he is number one. So I don't know if these are numbered. No. So I'm going to have to figure out which one is which. And at the end of the video, we'll mark them that we got. So let's open another one. Like I said, there is ten here. We're not going to do all ten. 
uh, this one doesn't have a number. No, it's, they're very, very vibrantly colored, painted. Very cool, actually. It's a little feller. Little, little, little bitty things. All right, guys, let's open two more. Let's open. I can't, I can't help myself. Can't help myself. Great for kids, except for their size. I mean, they are, like I said, they are freaking tiny. Um, be great for little kids. Have fun with open up on Easter morning or something. Like I said, they're only five. They're like six bucks with shit with tax at my local store. So I will definitely uh, next time I'm there be picking some up. This one kind of has a Spider-Man vibe to it a little bit. So that's what we picked up from Walmart, and that's just uh, that's four of them. So I don't know if you can see them there. That's just four of them. Like I said, we will uh, mark on here what we got and show a close up of this. Uh, and show you which ones we got. So, and we're probably going to go for all seventy-two now that we that we've started. And like I said, there's six more still in here. Um, there's two packs like this, two more, three packs, and uh, we'll open those up on some other videos. So, uh, that was pretty fun. So that's all we got from Walmart. Um, I was tempted to get that ten-inch Michael Myers, but I passed on it. Hit a little bit of box damage on the back of it. So, which. A 10 inch you're gonna have box damage and it's back so you know but uh we didn't pick anything else up at walmart so we went to gamestop again gamestop wouldn't let us film totally understand they have stuff going on but we did get some dragon ball cards jeremy from templar pops has got me addicted to these things and uh stay tuned because you know what not auction coming to you soon we will have some Dragon Ball cards. We will. We are buying a booster box from him, and uh, we'll be shooting off some Dragon Ball cards your way. So let's see what we got here. Let me get out my handy dandy scissors. I'm always worried about cut the top of the cards. So let's see what we got, guys. All right, here we go. We got a tail ready to fuse. Skill Hunter. That's pretty cool in there. Right at time. We got the Vegeta preparing to invade. There we go. Next one is Training Buddy Bubbles. SS Khalifa. Very cool. Uh, maximum Gains. Very, very vibrantly colored card there. The Demon Awakens. Coco dedicated to the village. It's kind of a creepy card considering everything else is like anime and there's just a little girl sitting there. Higher Dragon's Home. Here we go. And Unison Sapper. This is a common, but it is a foil card. Pretty cool. And Universe 6 combination is our rare in this pack. Super cool. So, like I said, we'll be doing some uh, auctions on whatnot with these cards. Doing some single auctions. Every dollar you bid, you get another card thrown in. We have, I don't know, five or six packs we've opened up. We're going to do that with. And then we do have that booster box coming. It's supposed to be here today. So, hopefully it is. We actually got two of those packs. We're not going to open the other one. We're going to save the other one for another day. And then... GameStop, we also picked up, I've been wanting to pick it up, but at the same time, I've kind of been holding off Transformer, G.I. Joe, Lunchbox. They had a stack of them. They also had the deceased Batman boxes. I bet they had 30 of them at my GameStop today. And they've only ever had maybe one, maybe two. That's it. But today they had about 30. So let's see what we got, guys. So in this, there is... Or is it? There it is. One sticker. One lunchbox, obviously. One keychain, two pops, and four pins. Um, I know we are way late to the game on this one, but uh, still fun. I might even use that for a lunchbox for work. I don't know. Like, I, like the guys would like that, right? Let's see what we got here. All right, so we got GI Joe sticker. We got our Transformer keychain. 
we got our four pins. Very nice. And the two pops are wedged in there. Classic. There we go. Okay. We got our first one is G.I. Joe is Duke. Duke from G.I. Joe. I mean, the box is in mint shape. No, no damage there. And we got Megatron. I don't know which one. I know one of these was more sought after. But we got Megatron. We will check the prices on these and we'll throw them up right here. Uh, this was $20, $23. Um, so, not, not bad. You got two pops, a launch box, a pin. A, you got all kinds of stuff. $23.99. You cannot beat that. So, super excited. But uh, So, that was our haul for today. Like I said, Walgreens, nothing. Um, but uh, that's typical around here. This GameStop has stuff one week, and then the next week they have nothing. And they won't have anything for weeks, and then they have, you know, an overabundance of everything, and they're trying to get rid of it. So, but they have, they had a lot of stuff in there. I wanted to get video, but they couldn't. We couldn't, of course. But uh, hopefully I can go back maybe this weekend and get some video. They had some amazing pops in there, some uh, new stuff that I've never even seen or heard of. So, very, very cool. But, uh, guys, be decent human being, doing one good thing for everybody. Keep collecting, and uh, we'll see you next time.